Okay, in this problem we're going to be converting 150 grams over to ounces. And um, because this was a problem that is associated with a computerized system, um, it's going to tell us to use the conversion factor that one gram is approximately point z uh, zero three five ounces. So using this conversion factor, we're going to do it first uh, their way. So we're going to start off with 150 grams over 1. Now we don't want grams, so we're going to put it on bottom so it will cancel. And we're going to convert over to ounces. So our conversion factor again is 1 gram is 0 0.035 ounces. So now grams will cancel and we're left with ounces. So when we multiply, we have 5.3 ounces. Now here again, you're not always going to be given all those little small ones, but this is dealing with um, mass measure. And for mass measure, the one that you really should know off the top of your head is that one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. That's important to know. And we can use that to convert. Okay, we're starting off with 150 grams, but our conversion factor deals with kilograms. So first things first, we need to figure out how many kilograms this is before we start. To go from grams to kilograms, we have to move one, two, three places to the left. So this would be 0.15 kilograms. Now let's start with that. 0.15 kilograms over one times, we don't want kilograms, so we're going to put that on bottom, and we can move, oops, we can move between kilograms and pounds because one kilogram is equivalent to 2.2 pounds, and that will cancel out our kilograms. Now we don't want pounds, we want ounces, so now we're converting within the U.S. system. There is a relationship between pounds and ounces, and that is one pound is 16 ounces. So now our pounds will cancel, and we have 0.15 times 2.2 times 16, which is 5.28 ounces, virtually the exact same answer.